The story surgeon is back, and you know I write with a scalpel, cause my penmanship is surgical. Revenge arcs are interesting, particularly the ones in Naruto and Kingdom. When I say revenge arc, I mean an arc that is solely focused on a character executing their revenge. In these cases, is the character fighting against the person or people who they want to take their vengeance against. This video will piggyback off my video on investment. The arcs in question are Fated Battle Between Brothers and Kyokai's Revenge. I personally use the Chinese names for Kingdom, so I'll be calling Kyokai Kyang Lei. In both of these arcs, the character searches for the enemy for a little while, and then they fight and kill their enemy. After the enemy is dead, there's a little conclusion and that's the end of the arc. The Naruto arc is 28 chapters, and the Kingdom arc is 9. In a vacuum, these arcs would be subpar or bad. There is barely any story. There's no three-act structure or any build-up. The characters just show up and fight the entire time. But in context, these arcs are extremely cathartic because while they are their own arc, when looking at the whole picture, this arc is simply the climax of a narrative thread that had been building up for over 300 chapters. Sasuke was introduced in chapter 3 and Kyan Lei in 49. Both of these characters had their backstories in which loved ones were slaughtered play a major role in their character. They influence their personality, goals, and character development. When they first said they wanted revenge, the payoff of that revenge was set up and we knew it was coming. The longer the story went on, the higher the anticipation for the resolution to the narrative thread became. We became invested in the characters and their eventual revenge. Additionally, like I said in my video on investment, revenge is a universally relatable concept Everyone knows what it's like to want revenge, and everyone knows how cathartic and satisfying it can be once that revenge is executed. These revenge threads take advantage of that relatability and amplify it through their avengers, increasing the amount of investment the audience has in the thread. This results in revenge arcs with primarily action being one of the most entertaining arcs in their respective stories, despite having very little going on in a vacuum. In conclusion, revenge arcs are able to be simple yet satisfying by capitalizing upon the buildup of several chapters and the relatability of revenge and then making the arc a grand climax to everything that had been built up. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.